Let's animate with Steven! This is what OpenTunes looks like when you open it up. Probably, maybe, something like this? I have the timeline tab selected all the time, because that is where I live. And this is kind of what it looks like, just so you can get a look at it when I don't have anything open. Now I'm gonna open up the file I was working on. Unfortunately, the open dialog box thingy doesn't come up because my screen capture recording thingy isn't great. Watch me select the eraser tool here, and there are some cool settings on the toolbar for type and mode. I have freehand and lines and areas selected right now, but check out the other things, just experiment, see what happens. Watch me select the onion skin right here, ogres. This is the timeline where you drop the frames. And so if you click up on that little gray, the dark gray bar where the little yellow bubbles pop up and you click, then it activates the onion skin. And as you can see, it lets you see the other frames. And so you can draw between them. I've already kind of done the hard part with the keyframes, I guess. I don't really know if that's what these are called necessarily if they're keyframes. I'm not a professional, I have no idea, I don't work in the industry. Now I've selected the brush tool and there are some settings at the top that appear for the brush tool, just play around with them. The min, max is the brush size, hardness is, I don't really know, I don't really know. Smooth is fixing your lines, so I usually have that somewhere around 15, I just kind of like throw it anywhere. And it just makes your lines like, smoother, just play with it. Now, watch me redraw the same line over and over, but I actually don't really pay too much attention to getting it perfect. Um, as you can see, my lines are pretty messy, and I'm okay with that. I'm just gonna keep doing what I like to do. And this is actually super sped up, so you're not really seeing all the times I'm erasing and redrawing things. And another cool onion skin thing, if you click a little higher up on that gray bar, then the onion skin sticks to the frame that's over. It doesn't follow the cursor. And if you're confused, then I guess I'll be making another video. Now, did you see the canvas just turn gray from white? That's because I selected the drawing on the drawing bar, that sidebar on the right. And here I've pressed Control C to copy a drawing that I just want to edit a little bit. And then I push Control V after selecting that black space at the end there. And now I'm just clicking and dragging it right onto the timeline. Then I click back on the timeline and we're back in business. <sighs> and there's a sketch layer underneath where I put that frame. So you can turn down the opacity on any layer, but I don't really show that in the video. Whoops. Here's more of me just clicking around and staring at things. Ooh, and a trick I'm using here is I'm hitting the P key, P for Peridot, P on my keyboard. And that just makes the animatic start playing from wherever the cursor is. Here's Steven, more finished than he was when I was recording the rest of the video. Surprise, surprise, he's very different looking. The end.